I'm gonna show you how to take this keg of beer and turn it into moonshine. I scored this keg off some dude he had in his barn. I wanted it for just the keg to use as a pot still. And it's still full of beer. It's about four years old. It's an old IPA. I think it's like 8% alcohol or something. So we're gonna pop the spear out, throw a column of condenser on it, turn it into moonshine. The first thing we're gonna do is see if it's got any pressure in it. So we don't wanna just jam a screwdriver in it and let it spray everywhere. Check that way. I don't like a face full of beer. What's up? We got us a tap. And we got us a vessel, put it in. Yeah, this thing's bone dry. Cool. Fair it would be, it's been sitting a long time. But better to know than to not know. All right, now we're gonna pop the spear out. To pull this spear out, we're gonna take out this little retaining ring right here and then remove the spear. I know we checked it to see if it had gas in it already, but I'm gonna double check it just to make sure. So I take my flatty and pushing that ball down. She had a little bit in her, not much. So I'm gonna take a small flatty. We're gonna get right here in this groove and get underneath that retainer ring. Once we're under it, we're just gonna work it around until she pops out. And once she pops out, it's nothing to make it the rest of the way out. Now, we're gonna line up the notches here to get this out. Let's see if we get her removed. I can jam that down in there. Give you something to turn it with. Let's see, once you line it up, she comes right out. Ooh, that's some old stinky beer. Some old stinky beer. Phew. All right. And that's all there is to taking that out. Now we're gonna put a column, put this on a burner, put a column condenser on this and get it rolling. All right, we got our keg on our burner. We're gonna let it fire her up. Now we know this is gonna taste terrible when we're done, so I'm just gonna do a stripping run where I collect everything that comes out of this all the way down to zero, and I'm gonna rerun it again for a much cleaner flavor. So we're gonna heat this up, get our column put on. Ooh, she's full. We got our pine pump. I'm gonna pump cold water in. Cold, cool, whatever you want. And then we got our return. Go back. Today we're going to use this parrot, so I got to keep checking and we'll show you how that works. So now we got it really hooked up. We're just going to put water in our cooler and let it heat up. And as we just started collecting heads, we got our parrot. Usually we wouldn't collect our heads in our parrot, but since we're just stripping, we will. So our hydrometer goes in the front. And then when this thing fills up, it'll tell us our proof that we're coming out at. And I don't expect a lot out of this, it's just beer. So we'll be lucky to pull a gallon of everything. All right, now we're running how we want. We're gonna watch this parrot raise up, see what proof we're coming out at. As it fills up, it'll raise up. 
Get one some bubbles over the top right here. If I guess, I'd say 120, 125 out of cake beer. Here it comes. All right, here we are about halfway through a run. As you can see, we're just below 80. We're gonna run this all the way down to zero and get every bit out of this since we're doing a strip and run. So that's pretty much it. We're just gonna let this run. Let it keep going. Turn old shitty IPA beer into moonshine. We have to run it a few times, but I'll come back to you at the end, see how much we get. I'm thinking about a gallon out of this. ABV wasn't real high. Coming up on the end of our run, we got about a gallon and a half of solid, rerunnable liquor, you know, from heads to zero. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna rerun it. I'm gonna add it in with some tails. Uh, Cause that's what I, I recommend you do, rerun this, unless you really like the taste of it. I do not like the taste of brew shine. I think it's disgusting, but it's great to get something out of this instead of just dumping it out because it was way too old and flat and disgusting to drink. So, and it's pretty cool. You ever get you an old keg full of beer, throw you a column of condenser on it, and turn that into moonshine or brew shine. Get you some brew shine. Shine on. Bob Rappers, man, that dude.